How come dudes don't know how to follow directions? Once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away on the east side of Detroit, me and my closest associates decided to do the one thing everybody does when they ain't got no money. Let's sell weed. Now, as you can tell from the title of this video, that's not what ended up happening. Because after deciding that being poor, not having money, and not being able to get a job was a bad combination, me and a group of the most ridiculous people I have ever met in my life decided, you know what? We could sell weed. That's how we gonna get some money. There was an abandoned house across the street from us, and we decided we're gonna go in here, and this is where we're gonna sell weed. Real logical thinking. So we go in the house, find all these rooms, all these secret boxes, all these secret hiding places we could put everything. We got a whole business plan laid out. We mapped out a business plan so efficient, we could have took it to the bank and got a loan if it wasn't illegal. But see, that right there was the tricky part. When you're trying to sell weed to make money, you gotta have the original money to buy the weed that you're about to sell. Now, me being Mr. Know-it-all, I decided to ask the question of uh, where we getting this money from. My homeboy Asia just decided he was going to ask Uncle Lucius for the money and he was just going to give it to us. Now, Uncle Lucius, first of all, let's, let's react to the fact that his name was Lucius. That tells you he is one of the coolest old black dudes you have ever met in your life. He was retired from working in a car factory since he was 18, had a car paid off, got a check every month. He was good for the rest of his life. That being said, I'm sitting here like, yeah, he not about to give us $400 so we can go sell weed. But see, anytime Ace is involved, it's a completely different story. I look at him more like a politician. Like, he could take anybody's stupid idea and somehow make it seem not stupid in like five minutes. Now, we sitting in the van in front of my godmother's house and he gets out to go ask Uncle Lucius for the money. I'm just telling everybody else in the car, like, look, this ain't finna work. We gotta find a different way to get this startup money. By the time I finished talking shit about this idea, he was already back in the car with $400. All right. Guess we selling weed then. This is where the story gets tricky and it's not, it's, it's a lot of details missing. Ace and another individual who is not to be named went to go purchase the marijuana that we were gonna then resell to other people who want to purchase it. They grab one of those drawstring backpacks, hop in this black car, I don't know who was driving, and they, they pulled off with whoever these people was. They were supposed to be back in 30 to 45 minutes. One hour later, two hours later, three hours later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Now after all these hours of waiting, me and a group of people, I'm not really sure if I like anymore, sitting at this round table in an abandoned house looking like the worst version of the the mob you have ever seen. We literally sat there from daylight until it started to get dark outside. Then the black car pulls back up. We, feel, we realized though they didn't get murdered, they didn't get robbed, but they got out the car and that backpack was looking kind of light. I didn't expect the bag to be packed, but for $400 you can get a little more weed than how flat that bag looked. These two walk in the house, take the bag off his back, lay it on the table, and pull out two eight balls of crack. I had so many questions. What did you say to Uncle Lucius to get this money? Where is the weed? Why do we have crack? Why did it take so long? Where is my dad? And the only question I got an answer to was he got the money from Uncle Lucius and Uncle Lucius wanted the money back in 24 hours, which is not even really an answer to my question. Nobody wanted to fess up to whose idea it was to buy crack. And slowly but surely, each of the seven or eight people at this table started fading away one by one. They're like, look, I didn't sign up for this. I thought we were selling weed. As it got down to like the last three or four of us, I couldn't help but think, this is less ways we got to split this money, man. Hand me my crack. And from that day forward, for a certain amount of time, I, I was selling crack. I, there's no happy ending to this story. Moral of the story is... I don't, I don't really know. Um, I don't, I really don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I gotta go put lotion on my kneecaps. I'll holler at y'all tomorrow. I want to say the moral of the story was don't sell crack, but like we did make some money. So I'm not sure. Don't sell crack. That's, that's the moral of the story. Don't do that.